Hello guys and welcome back to another Tesla Giga Berlin construction update. Now Tesla is looking to hire 7,000 employees at the site and uh, with the latest video uh, that we've got from uh, Tobias Lind, it reveals how huge the, vac the factory is and how quickly things progress in just a few weeks. Now as you can see in the screen, the buildings look really massive and of course according to the latest media reports, Tesla also has opened up 7,000 job positions available from January 2021 and this is just in time to prepare the teams and the production lines for making Tesla Model Y at a later point in 2021. Now, the first 200 already signed up for the work at the plant which uh, this might become the biggest electric vehicle factory in Europe and of course the first phase of employment has been the 7,000 jobs uh, that are coming in January 2021. But of course while the work on the plant is really advanced, Tesla soon might trigger a second stage, indicating for that is the fence that appeared in the northern area in the first tree harvest. They are cutting down trees now and a, a, and a fence is being put up so we're expecting a new area of construction being prepared so we will definitely let you know if we find out anything about that so far that is what is happening trees are cut down and a fence is being put together but we have to wait for anything new to come up but of course the big question is whether the second stage is to prepare the plot for a battery manufacturing facility or is it a facility for another electric vehicle model we don't know yet but uh, once we do as i said we will definitely let you guys know now looking more into other tesla news uh back when the model uh one of the tesla's most minor model 3 updates proves elon Musk's long game and how skeptics miss his big point now back when the Model 3 was unveiled, actually Tesla immediately attracted a good amount of criticism over the vehicle's design and of course arguments against the all-electric sedan were many with of course arguments being presented against its utilization of a single 15-inch center display and its hyper-minimalistic interior. But of course the vehicle's glove box which could only be opened through the touchscreen also attracted its own fair of share of criticism and people never really understood why that was uh, uh, the case everyone is used to opening the glove box straight from the door handle at the glove box and not through the screen and uh, i myself had been a very big critic of that decision but of course to a good number of car enthusiasts the idea of a glove box that can't even be opened manually was also uh, very insane but practically all vehicles in the market from affordable uh, vehicles from Japan to luxury cars from Germany they all employ a manual handle from the, for the glove box and uh, it was something that was so simple so traditional and uh, look at Tesla they were being stubborn and refusing to follow the tradition but of course it will be pretty easy to put a manual latch on the glove box uh, but Tesla actually insisted on an electronically operated mechanism and of course Tesla did roll out changes to the Model 3's glove box such as of course a feature that automatically opens the storage area in the event of a crash and this was actually rolled out following an incident where a Model 3 was involved in an accident that actually shattered the 15-inch display giving the driver a very difficult time accessing the vehicle's title and insurance papers. But of course over the years Tesla has added numerous features to the Model 3 and uh, these include Sentry Mode which actively monitors a vehicle's surroundings and Tesla Cam which acts as a built-in dash cam for the all-electric a vehicle on the road and of course the videos were saved on a flash drive that drivers would need to insert into the front USB port of the Model 3 and of course the feature is incredibly useful although it requires some work although it requires some work on the part of Tesla's customers 
and this was perhaps the reason why the use of features like sentry mode and tesla cam uh, mainly are not universally used by drivers but uh, in the future we expect this uh, to change with the introduction of the 2021 model 3 but of course the model 3 refresh uh, that tesla introduced a few a few weeks ago has a number of key updates from a new center console and new aero wheels to the new headlights and of course minor updates were also introduced such as uh, such as a usb port inside the glove box uh, a video from hong and of course a video from hong kong featuring a 2021 model 3 further also further revealed that the usb port inside the glove box already has a 64 gb flash disk in it and this incredibly minor change which almost feels like an afterthought considering the fact that model 3's major updates may actually feature the makes a makes actually makes features like the sentry mode and the tesla cam now much easier to use and of course this makes the model 3 more secure as well as even thieves are actually familiar with teslas who are actually familiar with teslas will no longer have any way to access the flash drive that contains the vehicle's video recordings and of course prior to the refresh uh, thieves could simply rip out the flash drive that holds sentry mode recordings which is quite unlikely but is possible and of course this will no longer be true or be possible with the 2021 model 3 especially as tesla has already added an extra layer of security in the form of uh, in the form of the glove box pin which was previously released through an over the air software update so yeah that is what we have for you today thank you very much for watching this video until the next update keep in touch bye, -bye.